Brian, what did you think about Jim Miller's corner thinking that they should take this fight to the ground? I mean, you know, I guess they're thinking on the feet. He's just not having any success with Anthony. So they want him to go on top where they believe he can finish him. We haven't seen him execute a takedown yet yeah. outside of catching the kick. And I'm surprised they don't have him go back to that low leg kick that he was yes. having such success with. I mean, he just abandoned that. There it is. Beautiful. I mean, it's such a painful kick. Oh, it's awful. And again, if Anthony can't put weight on that lead leg, it really limits a lot of his offense and may cause him to have to switch stances. There it is again. And that's one of those kicks where just one or two of them can drastically reduce your ability to move. And that part of the body is just, it's not used to getting hit at all. So it's very new for, for fighters to eat that. We saw it in one of the fights last year where, where a fighter's calf was hurt very bad. Well, next Sunday, it's an FS1 UFC Fight Night welterweight main event. Gunnar Nelson, Santiago Ponzinibbio. Special start time Sunday, July 16th, 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. Oh, there on he is. Yeah. He landed it again. And I like that he's going back to him. It's been his best offense by far. But what he can't afford to do is sit at this range. This is Anthony Pettis' range where he, he, despite those leg kicks, he's still landing more frequently. Miller has got to press the action and pressure. Whether it's takedowns or combinations, I don't care what they are. If Miller wants any chance to win this fight. He needs to start moving forward. And he went up the middle with a front kick there. Yep. Pettis is just so dynamic with his kicking ability. And, and it's just, you can't see it coming. There's no telegram. Under three minutes here to go in this third and final round. That is now circling the other way towards that power left of Jim Miller. Well, not sure it ever left, but the confidence is there for Anthony Showtime Pettis tonight. Let's listen in to Duke Rufus and Give me your, give me your fake takedown. Level change. Here we go. Good. Too fast. Another excellent leg kick yep. here by Beautiful Miller. Beautiful jab, Ali style. There we go, coach. Yep. Yep. Not showing any ill effects from those kicks. That's it. Yeah, good kick. Two minutes, kiddo. Keep moving those feet, bro. No, he's moving those, those feet so Jim Miller can't hit him with those low kicks anymore. It's when he's standing stationary that Miller sets those up. Yeah, Miller's getting him in the transition like right here. Yep. Follow it up. Follow it up, Under two minutes now to go. Good shot from Miller, but Pettis goes up right. Excellent job. Quickly digging for underhooks. Good balance from Anthony Pettis to defend that. Easy style wrestling on display. Right elbows there, Jim. A lot of damage inflicted by Pettis on that left leg of Jim Miller. One under hook. Now two. In this clinch portion of Anthony Pettis' game, this is typically viewed as a weakness by most of his opposition. Doing a nice job controlling Jim Miller up against the fence now. Good elbow. Interesting, too, because Pettis' corner was calling for that technique. They wanted him to throw the elbow. Less than a minute. Less than a minute, Jim. Miller trying to get some air into those lungs. Pettis continues to apply pressure. 45 seconds to go now. Left knee, Jim. Left knee. Left knee is dead. Elbow, Jim. Elbow. Crowd getting behind these athletes here in the waning seconds of this one. A little groin strike there. Pettis says, let's fight on.
great fight. Between Anthony Showtime, Pettis, and Jim Miller, both guys pulling out all the stops down the stretch. And that looked to me like Anthony Pettis returning to form. He looked fantastic. Jim Miller is no easy out whatsoever. And Pettis looked fantastic. Yeah. Well, he's the winningest lightweight in UFC history is Jim Miller. Let's get to the fight replay brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. Well, we're used to seeing some real fancy striking from Pettis. He had a lot of low kicks, but he responded well with some counters there. Right hand and same side kick. Flying knee, and this would hurt Jim Miller in round one. And really, that was a turning point after he ate a lot of those low kicks. Anthony Pettis got it done very well on the feet here. Kicks in the head back, opened up the huge cut. Front kick to the face. These are things we're used to seeing from Anthony Pettis, but you're not seeing these highlights. The clinch game, some of the wrestling here. Sanchai kick comes behind, hits him in the back. Beautiful creativity, excellent accuracy. Really controlled the range and the distance so well by Anthony Pettis, but I was most impressed with his wrestling and controlling the clinch. These fight statistics coming up here brought to you by Performance Inspired. The all-natural high-performance line of sports nutrition trusted by athletes and health enthusiasts. Visit pi-nutrition.com. So you see some of the numbers there for Anthony Pettis and Jim Miller. Head strikes all showtime Pettis. Top position pretty even. Leg strikes to Jim Miller. But unofficially, Anthony Pettis landing nearly 70% of his total strike attempts here tonight. Jim Miller under 50%. The official decision now brought to you by Metro PCS, who brings you closer than ever to the UFC on a fast nationwide 4G LTE network. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Anthony Showtime! I'm here with the winner, Anthony Pettis. First of all, Anthony, welcome back to the winning circle. You looked like Anthony Pettis tonight. I felt like myself, man. I, had one, I cut to 145, it's no joke. Um, no excuses, I won chasing a belt, didn't go my way. Everybody clap it up for Jim Miller, man. That guy's a warrior right there. Give him, give him a round of applause, please. He, he certainly is, and that's one of the reasons why this win was more impressive, because you were fighting in a dog fight against a guy who's accustomed to them, but you look fantastic, you picked your shots, your conditioning looked outstanding. What was different about this fight for you? No way cut. I mean, 155 is my home. I'm the champion of this division. Uh, once in WC, once in the UFC. And I'm just having fun now, man. That was a fun fight for me. I had a great damn time. Do you think that maybe going down to 145 and losing all that weight and depleting your body was a good learning experience for you and lets you appreciate what it means to fight healthy? Now, I wish that upon nobody, man. Fighters fight in your weight class. You feel 100 times better fighting your weight class. There's no reason to call that weight. Congratulations and welcome back. Hey, happy birthday to my daughter. She turns six tomorrow. Aria, right, daddy's coming home. I love you. Showtime Pettis, ladies and gentlemen. Anthony Showtime Pettis improves to 20 and six and gets a big win tonight here against Jim Miller in his return to 155 pounds. Tonight's champions in the crowd brought to you by Budweiser. This bug's for you. There's the UFC Panaboy champion, Cody Garbrandt, Kevin Lee. Liking the bright lights of the camera there. The Motown <laughs> Vino, gotta love him. There's the UFC featherweight champion, Max Bless Holloway. Nice pop from the crowd here in Las Vegas for the best 145-pound fighter in the world. And how about Yoani Young Jacek, strawweight champion, Joe, offering to fight back. Oh, Tony hits the ball <laughs> pay-per-view. <laughs> Let's talk it. about how Joanna asked to fight.